Okay, good evening. I'd like to call this regular meeting of the North Brantford Conservation and Inland Wetlands and Water Courses Agency to order. In this meeting on Wednesday, August 28, 2004, at approximately, at, actually at 6.30 p.m. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is do a roll call of everyone seated here this evening. We have regular members Bob Whitworth, Ashley Joyner, Jerry Fishbeck, and to my right, we have our town planner and wetlands administrator, David Perkins. I'm Steve Scavell. I'm chairman for this evening's meeting. Next, we'd like to do uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, next, we'd like to move on to item three, um, which would be minutes me meeting of July 24th, 2024. And uh, if anyone has any revisions or modifications, I know Ashley had mentioned some, possibly some. Uh, I wasn't, oh. I think David talked with her. Oh, Dave, oh, okay. You, you, do we make some revisions on the meetings, uh, minutes, or th that we need to note, or? Um, there was a member of the audience who had some comments relative to the minutes if you'd like to hear from her that's oh up to you. yeah if we can yeah i guess sure sure could you dennis file yourself for the record please hi my name is margaret Capello. i live at 178 carson chill road um in reading the description of the minutes for 118 carson chill road i note here that when it was presented as well as being if you had that it had a note of there being a, another eight lots being added to an already existing four division and seven houses and i wanted to correct for the record okay that the actual legal notice which i have a copy of here is actually for 10 lap lots and the addition of nine houses okay so i think that the addition of two houses in that area is an important thing to note okay um, so modified won't we'll make that noted on um, the notes i also noted here uh, a reference to the open space requirement is to deed a parcel to the town and it's my understanding that you can actually deed a parcel of land and or pay money i don't know if you feel the need to clarify that but that is in fact how your regs read so perhaps yeah. you want to update that as well okay and also at the end here it says it should be decided um, it should be deeded to the town as it could be utilized for public works or municipal use and again i call your attention to the definition of the open space requirements pursuant to your inland wetland regulations and would say that you should maybe specify that a little bit more because there are parameters in which you can use the open space as you're all well aware okay so um and i know that the committee is in receipt of comments that i previously made to you and i thank you for thoughtfully you know, pondering over no, thank you for addressing some of those. We'll, we'll make the oh, revisions in minutes. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. All right. Does anyone else, uh, with those, including those revisions, does anyone else have any more revisions or modifications? Oh, is it here? So we could, uh, I guess, well, Bob, actually, Jerry and I guess can approve them uh, or, or make a motion if either Bob or Jerry would like. Approval of the minutes as amended. Oh, okay. I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Abstain. Motion. And Ashley will abstain. Very good. All right. So the next item would be new business. I'm sorry. It would be old business, which I see there is none. Right? Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Next, we'll move to five. New business. First would be a jurisdictional ruling at 1535 Middletown Avenue. Removal of trees and clearing with 100 foot of a wetland or water course. Property owner, ASD Properties, LLC. Do we have an applicant here? Well, Dave, if you want to just update the agency members, at least we can, can tell us what you found or... Um, well, we can start there. The um, 1535 Middletown Avenue is close to the Middletown Tavern. The area has, it's about 10 acres of land. It has some even passage around. The area has been totally clear cut. Um, I 
think I left another map. There is a clear cut um, without permit. I take it. There are no permits whatsoever. There's a water course that goes through mm -hmm. the middle of the property. Um, it's owned by um, ASD Properties. Um, I was made aware of it by the water company who's an adjoining property. There is a tributary to the Farm River that drains this watershed off the side of Totokit Mountain. Um, erosion controls were put into place. Um, whether the applicant is choosing to use it for agricultural purposes or they're just clear cutting, I have no idea, which is why they've been invited to the meeting tonight. Um, as far as I, they have sort of stabilized the land. They've not been really into the wetlands, but they've certainly been within the 100 foot buffer all the way over the property and it's almost 10 acres and they probably cleared eight and a half acres. Just, clear, clear cut. It just but no moved. stumping, no removal of soil, no digging in the ground. Grading or grading, excavating. Just cut. So just to refresh this, so if you go across the bridge, it's is it way in the back or to the right? Is it that area, that wooded area? Like just yeah, if you go over the bridge into the mill pond, then you go right up the hill south. There's like a little valley back there. And pretty much it was all wooded before this happened. It, it was all wooded. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't come because it would be nice to talk about it, and, you know, obviously. And, and so you, uh, you you haven't really heard from them. You, I know you let them know that they should I, be attending, I, obviously. I, I wrote them a letter. Okay. Did they, you get any response, I guess? I guess. Which I thought I gave you copies. Nope. And do you have any wetlands map of the area? Yeah, I do. So here, I'll give you these copies. Oh, okay. Matching the This was all part of the original plan when he did this. So, right? Am I correct with that, Andy? Say that again. That this I'm was sorry. The, that this was the area that, with the original design of the mill pond, you were planning on doing the bridal suites and okay. the places to yep. stay. Okay. And so this is the second part of mill pond. We're conjoining it. Jim has that going through the process. Do it up, Let's do it up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. That's right. This is Middletown Ave. Here's the driveway to the mill pond, the bridge, mm -hmm. Ash. Yep. You go over the bridge, we go to the right side, and we own this property. This is Willie's Corner, right, where all their vegetables are. <laughs> and, and that being said... <laughs> <laughs> Such a stable tripod. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> I think before we get this yeah, boost, we need a little tripod right there. There. <laughs> there we go. I think you got it. I think we could. Uh, but anyways, anyway, this is the, you know, this is the problem. 
okay. up here. Yep. Gotcha. And this is cleared from when I did construction. We stockpiled a lot of the material up here. Okay. Now it's been leveled off. Right here, we're hoping to put that motel. All of these prints are in draft. I thought Jim was giving me a draft of what's coming for the proposal because we're that close, you know? Okay. But he gave me the property now, and that's fine. I mean, he's in North Haven. I, we're all over. That being said, um, so what we did, we did some clear cutting on this ridge to get ready. It already had a, uh, an area here. We just cleared, uh, we cleared the stumps on top of this flat land. That's the only stumps that have been removed. The rest of the property, we did scourging. Uh, loggers will tell you, like when they cut a mountain top, they leave all the stumps, right? They take the lumber, they leave the stumps, no erosion, no disturbance of the land, blah, 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 blah. We did the same thing. The only crossing we had was a pipe that was here from the Hansons back in the day. I added another pipe, so we had the width to drive that skitter across without doing the, you know, river back and forth thing. Um, and we only sconged areas of elevation that were going to be pertinent to the buildings. And what you'll see in the draft that comes in is we didn't touch any wetlands. They're all flagged, and there's still all the borders in place. What I did do is didn't have my silk fencing down around the area. We did some of that. The storm did wreck us, but they, yes, today put new ones up, and we're back on. Probably fix it again. That's all. So, but that'll be good. Up here by elevation, we cleared these spots that are really uh, the height of elevation, we stayed out of all lowlands. My original goal here, guys, then, well, after we get from getting in trouble or whatever I gotta do, uh, I wanna resurrect this pond. This dam is gone and it's just silted in like crazy over there. On all of the maps that has a pond, and you look on, in the future, this area, it's still allocated, like it is a pond, but there's nothing but a stream that goes through. I love the aesthetics, I want the pond back. I'm actually not taking any wetlands. I want to actually add one here. You can see this is a high elevation and this is a high elevation. And this is just runoff from the mountain. And I'll show you where this comes from in the future. But I would love to add a second one here or here. I'll tell you why. The project has walking trails. And we put a little gazebo on this peak and I'd love to get a you don't like them for what do they call them? For pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the whole thing. So, but don't forget, this is going to be residential. So it's going to be used by the people who live there and or as well, you know, wedding and that stuff. So that's the overall picture. And that was why I, when I came in, the loggers, listen, they paid me to take the lumber because it's been 100 years. So I didn't have to pay 10 grand to take the clear land in the future. So it's gone. It's, like spot. it's still right there. We put down rye seed. Well, so just my question is just so I can see this whole line, I mean, where is the actually wetlands that we're concerned about so we know where we can focus? I think where I crossed is the, is the that's well, just, I mean, it's, it's a big lot. I mean, we're, if it's away, if it's out of the buffer, we're, we're not worried. We just, we just want to, you yeah, know, just, no, no, right, let's focus on that just because, 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 you know, I'm conscious of that. So yeah, 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 I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to learn because I've never been out there. So without doing a side of work, I'm ready. We just want to, I'm just trying to learn what, what exactly, uh, large thing. Wetlands. It's these two flags. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this area. I got you. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That's full of silt. That's what I And that's what Mr. Pizzuto would like to turn into a pond, which probably is not a bad idea. And then there's a crossing. That's where I am. Right in here. And you said you already put. Some well, type of pipe, pipe in there? had a single um, cement pipe. Yeah. Because you know, they used to drive the quads and the kids. But how big? We're talking about 24, 36. Oh, uh, it's a 36. So 36. I put another 36. Side by side. And I actually put two after it just in case the 100 year flood, only because I knew from prior. I had to double. I didn't, you know, they, they, okay. Go ahead, guys. Well, I did that because I didn't want them dragging the. You know, when you drag them trees, this, right, the right so this, this, this area probably takes drainage from the mountain. I'm just trying to, again, yeah, just trying to understand. Believe it or not, uh, so that's the other part of the area from here. Right yeah. Now. yeah. So you must have grabbed the road. The right? elevation right? comes this way, right? I'm yeah, I, mean, uh, um, I, I um, can't wait for you guys to come out and take a look at one point. You see this right here? Right here is our gravel road for the water company. You know, we have the, goes behind the park and wreck ash. They have their drainage pipe. Which is okay because they carry the whole mountain, right? And then they got to grab a road and have this side haunched, and then I mean, the pipe is literally this is just runoff from that gravel road. At some point in the project, I'm going to bring they come in anyway, RWA, and I'm going to say, guys, can we look at you know they have their 
they own all the water right now in this whole piece. Can we? And I'm not looking to dry anything. You can keep whatever you got, but let's get this off of. I want to put some kind of diversion or ask them to take their pipe and turn it that way, which it'll run into their land. This is their watershed. That was the old Jess Monty property. So right now, it's just running onto this property. Yes. And Ash, honestly, this running. wouldn't even be here. This is a wetland flag area. Well, let's see. It's honestly let's see. Off of, Can we see it up here? Mm. Yeah, so it would be... Uh, okay, see this right here? Okay. You right. see how that's flagged? Yep. Okay, there, there is a gravel road that surrounds RWA's yep. property. Yep. Yep. And if I come in the woods... There's a stream here. Exactly. So that's really just mountain runoff from the, the way they pipe the road. And, and I think it could be really... And it comes I, in and gets into so, the water and That's all on the sidewalk. I think it could be mm. really easily. Yeah. And, yeah. and it wouldn't where, see this whole section. It really wouldn't where, exist with flags. Where, where the you gotta see that. Here, this is 180. Well, no, it must come through this yeah. Yeah. dry pond. Yeah. 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 Make its way right now, right? Yeah. But I'm saying this, this water. So so I'm right. sure it goes down right. a little bit further right. downstream. Gotcha. Right. That's what yeah. I was thinking. So the plans for this, originally what I remember when you were redesigning the mill pond was that you wanted areas for the bride and groom to stay, for people to stay overnight, and now you're going to do residential as well? Yeah, this is a whole package. Phase one is this, with a little bit of motel type thing, and then I'm going for residential dwellings, rentals. Do you know how many? i got many? 100 and some units plugged in right now. It's 20 acres. So you don't have a plan with everything yet. You just yeah, no, I have a draft for you. They, wanted, they didn't want to That's debut it just yet. They want to you know, dot the I's, cross the T's. But yeah, this project is as big as uh, Lenny Fasano and the Tucker Woods, which, by the way, there's no vacancy and so on and so on. So, so this you're is our, thinking of building up, yeah. not just Well, no, quiet. they're townhouse type. There's two kinds. There's townhouse and there's an apartment-style one right here. This density has about 32 units. So let's talk up here, Andy, so everybody can see. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we're, 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 we're answering our questions. So there's like an apartment. Uh, this will be a, a little, hotel type That's the little here. motel. It's an 18 room proposed thing, so we can have weekend venue. That also will have a marrying uh, uh, ceremony uh, thing that we've <laughs> shored on. Uh, we have proposed a road that comes down and actually goes where the crossing is. Believe it or not, there's a bank of buildings here that are townhouse type. There's a there's a building here that is apartment style that will share in the parking of the front of this. So there's like 140 spots just in this section for that little motel and this building of of uh, apartments. That is a potentially three story. Very similar to like the guy on uh, uh, Firelight's project, that one that came through and it's getting resubmitted. Uh, and then that being said, we come across the street. These are set up very much townhouses, and um, uh, they're built, uh, the, the blocks of buildings are five and six, and there's two at eight. So they're connectable. They sit, one sits forward, one sits back. You'll see the design is very so no bond. I was just going to say, and, 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 and the patio's in the back. When you're on your patio, you don't have a guy right there. His is back, and then the next one's forward. Yeah, I mean, we kind of designed it pretty cool. So I assume part of this play, because we haven't seen it, of course, which we will, is going to incorporate the building of a, of a, of a bridge, a bridge structure. Oh, yeah, no, we've got to go over yes. You're going to have to do something. That's all going to be in the plan. I'll have to yes, come before us and, yes. and zoning. You know, so it's Listen, a, there's a ton of infrastructure. We're burying all the wire. We've talked to Wallingford Electric already. We know this will encompass some kind of uh, probably the sewer system. We have... Uh, uh, ability to put a pump station or go the other way, whichever. So we have a couple proposals coming. So, so let me ask you, so right now, though, you're not doing anything else till we get to get this squared away. Right, so right. You're good for now. That's that's our main thing. We, yep. try, we have a chance to walk it. And no, I had a chance to get rid of those logs. And, yeah. and so I just agreed that I would stay out of all the wetlands so we didn't try to encroach any flag zones, you know? Right. I actually want to leave it aesthetically pleasing. I don't want a flat open field, you know what I mean? So uh, the goal is to leave as much as we can. And actually, I had the two ponds. Ash, so give me one up here. This 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 wetlands, if you see it, it'll go into like nine tributaries. There's trees that fall, the wetlands get larger. You know how that deal. But I'd love to add one because I could see though this height, you see these elevations are high. And I was gonna put one in like Florida has um you know, if you go back to the hotel, they get the walkway on the stilts. Yeah. Uh, like a raised plot raised. Uh, or a boardwalk. A boardwalk for a better analogy. 
And my goal would be to put one of those boardwalks so they can access and have their gazebo and sit in the evening or whatever they do. We're gonna, we want three of those. There'll be one by this pond, one here. There's going to be one up on this ridge right in front of Willie's Field. So there'll be three locations that uh, we're hoping to have walking access that creates this green lake trail on the property. If that makes sense. We'll, we'll see. It'll be just, it's still the it more it. walks are actually better than just digging out a. Mm -hmm. I'm curious Sorry, about something. The uh, lumber, the lumber company that came in and did the cutting for you. Um, didn't they it? have to go to the town I know, to get for permit. some kind of clearance? Or I just called our friends in Guilford to do it, so I didn't know if you had to have a permit. Well, no, who, was the, who was the company that did the Marlo. 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 You know, yeah, no, I, in, uh, yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> Well, I, I, I mean, I'm just thinking back to the 80s. I had uh, my property selectively cut, and the first thing they did was go to the town hall and check the maps and make sure and everything was okay. Well, that would be the right thing to do. We didn't do that. Okay. Because then, they, well, of course, you know, say, you know, hindsight. But if they had done that, at least in the map, we could have steered them away from the wetlands. But. You know, what's done is done. We'll have to address it now. Yeah, yeah this was the only crossing available that existed. I wasn't going to go down near that well, no, that pond or anything. It was like the shortest. Yeah, so you're, you're telling us that when you so, cross the wetland, you stayed in where the culvert was. You yeah, didn't go north you know or this flag? You didn't didn't go you, we had this flag a year ago, so we oh. knew where all our flags were for wetland. And you could go there today, and they, they're, uh, the buffers are still there. We just so, cleared the hills. We, we need to they, they, the, they, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dave. How about the erosion controls? Are they under control or are they... After yeah, the storm. Are, <laughs> After the storm. Are, are, it's kind of hard to stop them. Yeah. The ground yeah. Water, but, yeah, we black fill them with mulch. We put mulch, you know, what we have is a large volume of mulch from chipping, uh, right? So we put down the fencing and then bedded in mulch so that at least it's, it's a natural filter. You know what I mean, the whole yeah. filter. Yeah, we did that on the, when we did the mill pond, yeah. we did a similar yeah. no, thing that's a, river. that's a good choice of doing it. Well, so. the EP suggested it, so we were like, all right, that's great, mulch is easy. Yeah. Not easy, but you always have it when you're at a right. job doing something near wellings, it makes sense. So, I'm sorry guys, I didn't know. Yeah, no, well, we just, but based on based on what you've already done in the past, you know, yeah. previously with Mill Pond and everything, I mean, I suspect that this is going to turn out to be something really nice. Yeah. But I also uh, assume that this is going to be an engineered project. Et cetera, this is et cetera. all done by engineers. Yeah. It's yeah. A big, this okay. is not a little. So, project. so yeah. Remember so, when I came the first time? You weren't certain about Mill Pond, <laughs> and I said, "Guys, I got this." Well, no, only we weren't certain. We just we didn't know what you. No, I think it was. Is this twenty-four, twenty-six million dollars? No, it's a big project, and it's a big and it's project. It's done by real people. You know that. I can't. We don't gamble. Listen, you know, I mean, Wait. there's certain things we can do, and there's a lot we know we can't do. I'm not saying I'm building right, it, but it's, it's also a big project in terms of. The amount of wetlands, wetlands. Yes, it is. Yeah, right. Yeah. But the pond is on the Farm River, mm -hmm. and yeah. is mm -hmm. right down below here. Yep. And um, you know, you guys have jurisdiction. So, so you know what I did? It's a sensitive area because of the Farm River. What I did is took a map house, and I actually, I actually, I, I, you know what? Maybe I'll bring you that map on the next one. Very interesting. Though. Very interesting. The wetlands that are available. The protection of our watersheds. We are phenomenal as a town, just so you know. We have higher protections on watershed than any other town around with their RWA, which is a blessing and a good thing. And the open space is incredible. We've got 7,000 acres of open space already between the RWA alone, right? And the town properties that are owned under open space, there's not very many properties left that we could put on tax rolls. I'm going to explain something real easy here. Uh, we have to shift what we do. We just wrote a hundred. We just wrote a hundred million dollars in bonds that were not secured yet with a fixed interest rate. The taxes are going up. What properties are we going to do in the future to create tax revenue? Right, and it's a real viable question because we're going to have a trajectory here that comes. So. I think that at some point, and I'm, it's not relevant to that, but it certainly has to have a better process that we can transition into the future of building some taxable property. And I don't know where they are. I'm a guy that owns a bunch of stuff, but uh, there's not a lot left for us. So we have to think about two things. 
we can't change the RWA and the deal that we got in 1960, whatever. By the way, in the documents, if you go deep enough, we were the only town excluded from the pilot program. Wait a minute. We got the biggest lake that feeds the most people, and we were excluded? East Haven gets a higher tax base from RWA than mm -hmm. River. That's why when you sat on town council with me, we tried to redo that. Listen, <laughs> and I know that it, it's a bigger lift than us here, guys. It is. But, so we can't change that. We have a ton of open space that's protected by us, our town, our open space committees, all the great stuff. We also own the last properties that are viable for taxable income or saving one of them. So I know everybody hears about centralization. We really do gotta put the 20 year plan into play. The meeting last night at council regarding Northwood Center, Ashley, you know that was written by the people even before us with that causeway behind the center. Mm -hmm. That's in the 20 year plan. Mm -hmm. And so is centralizing our stuff. If we could put BOE in, we have available property in Northford for retail or something. I'm just throwing stuff out there. You got this property, if we put Town Hall up there. Okay, everybody says, where are we getting the money? Where do we get the money? We own the lands that are viable for sale. We already own them, the wall fields. We already have this stuff. Sorry to take up and go off track. But that's right. <laughs> it's, really a, it's really an important thing. And so are these because these very, are taxable dollars. Very important what you that's say, but for the sake of time, Let's. So, how about we focus on this? But your point is well taken you know, for a future discussion. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. So he's going to come before us with a plan. Yeah. yeah. And then, then we'll we can plan it. That's the next thing. And then, because we need to do a site walk, but it's probably better to have a site walk to know where the activities are actually being done. Then we can. Are you, are you close to doing that, uh, Andy? Or? Yeah, no, we're done cutting. So this is all after the so, facts. Come so, on down and walk it when you want. You know, okay. whatever you want. I'm, I'm open. No, no, no. I know. In, it's part of any. We, you know, we have to site walk it in. But what my point is, is that if we had a plan of your phase one, then we could look at the areas, oh, especially yeah. that. Oh yeah. All right. Because yeah. we need I to know a draft of the whole right. project. So we, we're putting together a plan right. front to back. Right. Well, we, we, well, we need to, and we're focused based on the wetlands and you know planning zones okay. and everything. But we we just need to know where the activities are. So when we walk, we can at least you know get some. Yeah. So, so I mean, understand what, what you're doing and what you're disturbing. So, so the, the short term, which is the long term, is you're not doing anything, right? No, not back here, really not. We just oh, sent okay. the lottery. Well, they, 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 and our activity is all right here, as you know, where everything exists now. Right? I'm saying, Andy, what you've done recently, you're not doing anything more for the next year. No, the equipment comes out, we're right. done. Yeah, okay, we're so we got time. I didn't I didn't know the, the, yeah. the time for no, this. So, so, it so we can look gotcha. at it. Okay, and now you can look at it and come up with your We need to get some elevation straight. Gotcha. If you notice, this is like a, yeah. I understand. So I think, so, I think the only activity is the crossing. That's it. And and now the, all the skidders and all that are literally yesterday and today they're pulling out because they're done with their, and all the brush is clean and we just put the uh, rye seed. So I took these clean areas and I put the stumps in them and I, we walk around and we spread rye seed, you know, so that'll pop. You'll see it. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah. at least you'll put no, some yeah. vegetation and there. Come on, any time now or later. And again, we'll phase the project. Right. We're bringing the whole thing in so, so my, you can help us get through. So my question is to, to both, mostly Dave. So at this point, if you're not doing anything for a year, I mean, we could look at it. It's up to the agency members, but we will have to look at it when we get yeah. actually the site plan yeah. coming yeah. in because that's what we use. We usually yeah. evaluate that. So what would you recommend, Dave? Do you think we should go out now or wait till we actually get the, next, the first phase you know, of plan in front of us. Well, you yeah. still have something to see. Wait, but you yeah. decide, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Wait, that's what I think, right? Because I mean, we don't know what we're looking yeah. at. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it'd be nice. For an application. Yeah. The only regulated activity that he's actually done recently is put that culvert in, if you actually put it in. I didn't know if it well, was Well, cool it didn't have enough yeah. for the guys with the skitters. It was a one, you See, know? The one thing we well, I would like to say is whatever you put there, that, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it. But don't pull anything out. Don't do anything. Don't do anything no, no, more. Just leave, leave, leave it so when we come out, we can see it, and yeah, then we'll be able to walk across it. Well, yeah, and then, and then we can come up again. It's 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 so that way. As long as you you can promise you aren't going to do that, then when I the time promise. comes, and okay, we we believe we know you do good stuff. You're so <laughs> my my concern is yes. that we don't have any erosion problems. Right. And you and I have been through that over the last couple of weeks. And that's why I started silt rice eating as well. So silt fence wasn't put down. Um, you know, I was sort of tipped off to this by the regional water authority. Um, you do have 
a number of people in the audience from the Regional Water Authority, and maybe you'd like to hear their feelings. This is the Regional Water Authority. Yeah, not, I mean, I just want to be careful because it's not a public hearing. I mean, we might have to, we might have to have a, I mean, I, we could deem this a significant activity if we get a plan, which would be fine. We will have a public I would say we're pretty much guaranteed, right? So it's yeah. it's not that I want to, but it, it not being a the format for, uh, I mean, unless someone has something specific to say, but just, if just it's... Just giving you the option, Mr. Chair. Yeah, I'd rather, we've been trying to be pretty consistent with that, you know, because sometimes meetings turn into public hearings. We don't, I just want to be fair to any anyone else who's ever come here. Perfect. We've tried to, you know, people have some information, you know, like, it's fine, but um, right now I, you know, I think we'll wait till we get an application or whatever you deem that the only thing I would ask if you could David until we get an application which I don't know when you're going to be submitting well, that in the next 60 days I okay mean, we're well, right there they that's have fine it. when you get that then then, yeah. we'll, then we'll hold the public hearing and everyone will have their chance to speak because I it, without seeing it or seeing a plan I, I don't you know, I just don't know what information right. would help us whether you're for or against it doesn't matter but I'd like you David if you could keep just monitor I know um the yeah. the, the um the you know the erosion I'll controls because I know we could have a bad rain or something it could be perfect now if you could just that's all I ask till we get that you know fall sometimes to September October you get some bad rains you know I just that's all if you could do that for us I would feel much better and like so, everything else the RWA can submit letters with course, information oh, to inform us of things too you, you can do that right now I just like you said I not being the only thing is I just I you know, it hasn't to have too many people speak when it's not technically a public I understand. That's that's okay. You 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 had a, we asked you for your input. We we needed your your you know no explain your your activity. So um, at this point, then um, is there anything else that you'd recommend, Dave? Other than no, just, I think we're good. Just yes. wait till we get the application, and then yeah. that's that set starts the clock for. Yeah. Oh yes. I had a Sorry, question. Bob. I don't know. Go ahead. Who is best to answer, it, David? Maybe you are. This. Um, Water course is this a an existing named stream or is this just a drainage ditch? I mean, I could get a heavy rain and I'll have a stream in my backyard. It, well, it, it does say this, stream. This is, bro this right is here. a this is a runoff from the whole mountain. I think the engineers told me there's close to uh, two hundred some odd acres of the mountain. Point? Point? We don't so know if it's intermittent or an actual flowing stream. So, so here is that little spot. Is it an intermittent waterway that takes drainage or is there water in there? So, so, so this water, water comes from the mountain and it's live all the time so and it runs when just the rain comes. Buy. This is the I'm one. Um, uh, you see my point. My yeah. point was if it's a name stream, it's been around forever. If it's if just it's runoff from a, a, a bad a storm, yeah. it's just a runoff from a bad storm? Or yeah. This, this is the one. This one is continuous. Probably, yeah. This one is continuous. It's like right. behind Willie Chicarelli. That whole and actually, moment. we do regular yeah, intermittent water courses in the very good. It's good, but it's good to know. It's just, well, hasn't been prominent enough to be called Andy Andy's name is a brook. <laughs> all right, so it's the rain. Right. It's higher in the rain and dry almost in no rain. All right, but, yeah. By Meg. But I think it's still wetlands forever. Yeah. Go ahead. I was, I was just going to add. Improve the habitat. You know, we're talking about runoff from the mountain. Basically, it's just a big basalt slab that goes for a couple of miles. So nothing's really going into the aquifer. It's just hitting that and running off as if it were concrete. Is that correct? Well, it is a tributary to the. No, no I'm talking about how the how the water gets into oh. that. Well, it comes in a couple different ways, not just the runoff, but over here as well from the mountain going through the gravel road that is the RWA has okay. also designed. All right. That's it. That's all I had. Oh, very good, Bob. Thank you. Thank you, or well, whatever you say. Well, think, we yeah. have to wait for an application yeah. to do anything else. So at this okay. point, I, I would say. So Scott Small is my architect okay. and, and, and Jim Prenny and all the guys. Yeah. Oh, so same basically, old, we'll, we'll, same old you, you understand what we need to maintain yeah. the erosion controls. Yeah. Do, don't, don't do anything worry, else in the coming. property. And then when you come with a plan, everyone who's here today or yeah. anyone in the town can come, you know, yeah. have a public hearing, and then they can speak the on whole it. Thing. Yeah. I get it. Just like every other one. It's a big so. project, yeah. There's okay. nothing wrong with that. It's just. What I, and when I need to come on the lot, huge project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, will, you will welcome me, right? I, let it be said, he has free access. Okay, well, boy, that, that's an invitation. I don't charge many for you know, <laughs> right. anyway. Uh, All right. Already. All right. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate sorry it. Sorry about that. No, no problem. It's okay. Sorry, guys. Technically. All right.
We're going to move on to the second item under new business, which is a review of permitted use of right RWA water storage tank on West Pond Road. Map 27A, lot 6A. Do we have a map of this? We have little. That's what this is? Little ones. Okay. Yeah. I think they'll have bigger ones. So David, do you want me to just we can let them describe the project? Do you have anything to lead into it? or? or? No, I think this is, is there the, we need the to? Um, storage tank over sort of by... Yeah, that's right, by my house. Yep, by, right around the corner from me. Yeah, yes. West Pond Road. Yep. It's right across the yep. street. From the street. Actually, yeah, it's right across the street. And another one. I, Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we get big maps now. You now. Want. Wow. These guys came prepared. You want a big one, so, Ashley? That tank has to be what, somewhere near 50 years old or more? Uh, it was constructed in 73. 73? Oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. I remember so when it was 50. built. So we should let these gentlemen speak and go over the project. Or, yeah, it's good. We're good. Okay. So you guys can start to see. You both identify yourself for the record and proceed. All right. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm sorry for presenting on this project before you. My name is Will Kelly, manager of design and construction and regional water authority. Um, some of my colleagues are here. Paul Savard, project engineer. Ron Walters, who is a senior environmental um, analyst. Along also we have our consultant, Mr. Andrew White, and the soil scientist, Matthew Reagan. Yeah. All right, um, so we, we are here today um, to present on the existing the new water tank. Um, we presently have an existing um, tank, which is 3.3 million gallons um, welded. Steel tank constructed in 1973. This tank is critical to the RWA distribution system as it provides fire protection and maintain adequate pressure and supply for the service area. In 2016, when this tank was last painted, there was a significant risk to the system with the tank offline for an extended period of time. Therefore, um, the long term Replacement of a single tank with two smaller tanks will provide redundancy and allow for isolation of each tank for future maintenance. The construction of this new one and a half million gallon concrete tank to the service area is important and is necessary as it provides us resiliency to mitigate operational concerns with taking one existing tank offline for inspection, maintenance, and or improvements. Um, our forefathers had the insight to purchase uh, this large enough piece of land and identified the proposed location of a second tank, actually, when it was purchased and where it should be constructed or where it could be constructed um, in the future. We're here this evening to present that case and to seek the right of use permit down to construct this new tank. The project is expected to go through all the local and state permitting, along with our internal RPD representative policy board approval. And it is our intention um, that the construction of this new tank will begin sometime in spring of 2026 and completion date of some time in 2028. I'll now turn over to Mr. Andrew White, who's going to go through and the Bonds and the, um, the rest of the presentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sure, yes, go right yes. ahead. <laughs> well, Just take it with you. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, for the record, Andrew White, I'm a licensed uh, professional engineer in the state of Connecticut. I'm a time bond uh, consulting engineer uh, as an Oracle Engine at Radiant, as a licensed scientist, also from time bond, who is here this evening. Uh, who did the delineation, and I'm just realizing now, I'm looking at that correctly, and North is actually up oh, there. Gotcha. That's okay. Sorry for the confusion there. Uh, so as we were, uh, Orville presented, we are proposing to build a new storage tank on this uh, parcel uh, off of Woods Pond Road. 
Uh, the parcel itself is around uh, 9.6 acres, uh, highlighted here in yellow. Uh, access uh, is off of Woods Pond through an access way that comes in. So right here, following up to the existing tank, is uh, an existing access road that's constructed. We are proposing to uh, build a new tank north of the existing tank's location and provide a new uh, loop road uh, that will come in and connect down to that drive. So that way you have unidirectional traffic and have uh, you know, chemical deliveries or maintenance as uh, for the life of the project that that would be available. Um, so for just an over overview of the neighborhood, the setting, the existing tank, this is all giving the relationship here. Uh, for the rest of the presentation, I'm just going to rotate northeast, or north to page right, because that's how all of the plans are, so just to orient everybody. Gotcha. So here on this uh, colorized map, we have the new uh, tank, new access drive, uh, we show the limit of uh, tree clearing here, as well as the existing wetland uh, that is present to the east of the tank. Uh, highlighted here in blue is the upland review area. So we are just uh, encroaching when we, we actually uh, raise grade here uh, for the road, and then we have a stormwater swell that will be like a program. Uh, so that is what, that and a little bit of fencing is what's cutting into uh, the upland review area, as well as the grade change. How many feet does it intrude? Like five, ten feet, or not, not even? Doesn't look like much. No. Might be <coughs> less than five feet or something. Okay. The entire oh, just trying to get an idea. That's the entire all. Entire disturbance is, is likely uh, closer to 18, 20 feet. But oh, okay. The actual swell itself, three to four. Gotcha. Okay. So it is not not a considerable amount of uh, disturbance, and we're keeping all impervious is outside. Uh, it was very intentional to make sure that that driver was outside of the upland review area. Okay. And the stormwater collection is uh, bypassing uh, to come down to the, the rest of the site. Uh, so for some nuts and bolts on um, stormwater, uh, this is stormwater grading. This uh, whole parcel is a hillside. The high point is just off the page here. So stormwater is uh, going to the south as well as southeast and southwest. Uh, so we are uh, effectively, when we create this new uh, tank location, uh, there are cuts and fills. We are balancing the site as best we can. Uh, we actually went through one design iteration and then went back with the Regional Water Authority to uh, add additional fill onto the site to keep it on site to reduce uh, cutting and filling as much as we can. Uh, currently, there's around 900 cubic yards of export. Uh, which is considerably down from where it was in the first design iterations. And, and so we are effectively maintaining uh, stormwater throughout the site. In these swales, uh, we are proposing a large concrete underground infiltration system. We went out and did site soil uh, testing uh, to determine the infiltration rates. It's been sized to meet the town's criteria as well as the new uh, 2024 stormwater management requirements. So this is reducing uh, peak flow 50% of the two-year peak flow as well as peak flows in the 10 and the 100-year uh, TSS requirements, total phosphorus, total nitrogen uh, reductions that are required. Uh, so the collection system really is a perimeter collection, bringing everything down to the infiltration system, and then it connects to the existing drainage in West Pond Road. Uh, as it does today, there is a series of uh, catch basins just in the driveway there. So improving, improving the uh, drainage off the inside, as well as reducing peak flows uh, and volumes for the site. The, sorry, turn this around here. This is a uh, colorist photo of all the soil erosion and sedimentation protections. Uh, for the site, we have a series of erosion control blankets for all of the slopes that are being created, construction entrances, a temporary sediment trap to manage uh, sediment during the uh, construction, uh, water bars and check dams that will be installed in the riprap swales that will also be maintained after uh, construction. Since these are uh, 
steep bird grades. It's around 10% because it goes to that track plant a little over. Uh, and then uh, you know, where the tank is being constructed is where the majority of the activity is going to be happening. So uh, stockpile locations then once that area is uh, benched. So, Perspective. So this area in green here is our site restoration. So this kind of shows you the extent of what the limit of tree clearing uh, will be for uh, the finished uh, site. So currently the trees are uh, it's a little harder to see here, but hug pretty much the existing road and the tank. Uh, so it kind of makes a little bit of a fish hook. This is proposed to widen these out for construction. But the intent is not to keep them clear beyond the fence line. Uh, we'll be planting a uh, conservation mix. So that way you get, uh, for the first few years, it'll be uh, more like perennials and, and, and grass. But then you'll have uh, trees uh, that will come up through there naturally in the seed mix. So the plan is to have that uh, periphery revegetate. And the center spot in green, that's all going to stay vegetated, or are you clearing all that in between the roadway? In between, so this would be maintained. Uh, so every year or two, they can come through and, and clear as they need. Uh, so they need more than beyond the roadway? They do not need beyond the roadway. So that's what I'm saying, the spot in between the roadway, is that going to stay vegetated, or is that being cleared? Uh, it's being cleared for more the activity. Soil to manage that export of fill off site. So, this area in here does get built up and reshaped uh, to maintain fill off site versus the export. Uh, but the plan is to let that vegetate. Uh, so, this is not safe for a specific use for the site. Vegetate on its own? Yes. So, it would be seeded, it'd be seeded uh, during the project, but then to let it grow on its own. So all the green areas that we see, you'll be seeding them, obviously, just to prevent erosion and then let, na let nature take over. Is that what you're saying? Or Absolutely. down the line? Okay, so it won't be an area that you'll be driving in, cutting, or doing anything. It'll you know, kind of let it go back to its natural state. Yeah. So it's maintained for free use, But yes, so, so a lot of these areas, where especially where you have those slopes, that is all going back to being a vegetated state. With that, that's an overview of the project. I'd love to take any questions. Well, I just have one question. I mean, uh, obviously, you probably wanted to have a constant radius curve on that, that new access road. But I mean, I, I'm sure you probably just considered bumping that up maybe 10 feet. And just, you, know, you would avoid that protection area completely, right? You wouldn't even have to be talking to us, right? Yes, uh, that is correct. But in order to maintain the driveway grade itself, as we bring this road up, it's uh -huh. going to steepen it up. Right, so I got it. Trying to, okay. trying to balance a few objectives. It's there. Fairly, fairly steep. It, no, yeah. you're using the original entrance. Yes, we are. And that's right. fairly steep as okay. is. It's very steep, yes. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Um, so this new tank is to replace the old tank? So I believe the long-term plan is... Uh, okay. So the new tank is to replace the existing tank with two tanks. And that is going to allow us to do maintenance without putting on more service here at risk. So the intent is to put the new tank in. That will allow us to take this existing one offline um, for whether it be maintenance to see how many more years we have in it because we tend to do our So you maintain two tanks as well. Okay, I, 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 so you're not building a third one. You're, there's going to be two tanks. Gotcha. But one system. includes the old one and one includes the new. Gotcha. In order for us to build this, in order for us Understood. to take this one off, we need a new tank. I just want to make, I just, just want to make sure that's what I thought it was, but you weren't putting a, a third tank in. It's no. really, uh, gotcha. Okay. So, so it, it, as, as is, is going to be the existing tank site which is, which is okay. already there, and the new tank or proposal that was shown on the drawing gotcha. goes to the intent is that in the future, the existing tank will be a smaller footprint. Gotcha, you replace that, but still have, but you'd have redundancies, so you wouldn't have to shut down your water operation. I got it, okay. 
the, the new tank is one and one and a half million gallons? Yes, it is. The old tank you said was three point something? Three point three. Three point three. So ultimately you'll have both of them operating. For sure, period of time, yes. Can you get water to my house? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> It's downhill. <laughs> if the old tank needs removal, are you planning on doing that and then putting in a second tank as well? That is, yes, that's the intent. It makes sense. And if you had to replace the old tank, would you the, would you put it the new tank in that footprint there, or you think, or it's, I know it's maybe hard to say. We're just asking. I think I had. That's fine. So once this new tank is installed, um, the location where the existing tank is the current tank. That would be the footprint, the new tank would be going in. Gotcha, okay. You so don't you're... need one that big in terms of size. So the footprint is going to be smaller. It's going to be the same height because we do need the height. Um, and, that's the... and the good thing, you won't have to do a lot of grading like, no. uh, like you have to do now, which is understandable. But that second tank really will be, you remove the old one, put the new one, and you won't have to do much to stir. It's okay. There you go. Good, very good. Thank you. So the runoff from the site uh, after it goes through the water infiltration system, et cetera, et cetera, eventually gets down to West Pond Road to the culverts, the existing culverts. I, I'm, I'm guessing that where you enter the existing culverts, that will be running uh, south towards Guilford, towards the Guilford town line, am I correct? Yes, so we, we enter... Uh, goes down how I imagine into the existing drainage system that's in West Pond Road and then proceeds to the east and down West Pond Road. Down West Pond Road, it's, uh, if I recall, it'll go down a particular hill and at the bottom of that hill uh, is the Guilford Town East. Line. Right. And uh, how, how, how does that system, those culverts, how do they end? Where, where do they run to? Do they run into the lake? I, I guess they run into the lake. I mean, you're you're keeping everything on the lot, right? Yes, we're keeping everything on the lot, and we're reducing the peak flow and volume. So you're you're reducing it, but I mean, some of it is. But it will continue to. Yeah. But so I understand, when the new project is done, your your net flow will be neutral or maybe a little less. It won't be more, is what I'm right. So so it'll. It'll go the same, it'll make its way to the same culvert, you know, and system, but it should be less than what it is now. Okay, Perfect. very good. Okay. Here's right. Jerry. What's up? Here's the book. Okay. It's a stormwater report. Oh, you can read it now. Okay. I can read it later. <laughs> yeah. so take, take five minutes. Yeah. Read it. So, <laughs> speed reading. Huh? All right. So I, I understand all of that. My only other concern, and that first part wasn't really a concern because I assumed that you had it figured out. Um, but you talked about, um, Ashley brought up the green area between the, yes, that area there. You said uh, after the project is completed, you would let that naturally vegetate. Yes. That's going to be a mess. I know what, what's going to grow there. You're going to have mostly uh, multiflora rows. And, uh, are you planning then on mowing that whole area periodically when you're doing maintenance or something, or just letting it go? Because if you're just going to let it go, why not do some nice plantings? So there, there's a couple of things. Um, tang, trees, we don't like close to each other. So yes, it would, it would be forming its natural um, tendencies, but it would be maintained, all right? It's not maintained on a weekly basis, but it would be maintained whether it be once a year or so, because we still need to kind of keep the year around the time free of trees and other things that could be repeated. So it's no different than what we do for most of our time. Okay. Sites. So it'll be an area that'll get mowed every year or two? Once or twice a year, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, all right. I, I don't have any further questions. Any other questions from any other agency no. members? Any concerns or nor do I um, at this point.
we can entertain, I guess we can entertain a motion, right? So, is there anything we, is, we really don't have an application, it's more just a... Um, are we going to be allowed to ask questions? Uh, well, it's not a it's not a public it's not a public hearing. But what you can do is you can actually call you can call the town, ask David some questions, and we can do it that way. If it was a public hearing, you, by all means, you could. St okay, there's many questions that are. Really I'll tell you why. Don't you give David a call him? I'll present him the questions, and we can. Is are, that all right, David? Or are, uh, are these folks? Wherever you want. Are these folks neighbors to the project? I, I assume are you a neighbor yes, to the project? We okay. We all border the driveway where they're going to okay. get access to get them. So, so there will be a um, a, a um, planning and zoning commission hearing relative to this, which would be a special permit because it's in the water company setback area. So that would be the public hearing for the zoning oh, issue. Okay. This is strictly wetlands. Right. So I'm it's sure they not, have... It hasn't been determined to be a regulated activity by the Wetlands Commission, but it will be a special permit hearing in front of zoning and planning in a couple of weeks. So they could, a so residents could go there and express... They could, the, correct. They, that would be okay. the time to speak. How are we going to be notified of that meeting? If okay. you're in a butter within 500 feet of the property, you will be notified by mail. If not, it will be advertised in the newspaper twice, two weeks before the meeting. The, the newspaper? What, what? The, uh, the sound. Oh, the sound, okay. So approximately two weeks or so? You don't know an exact date yet. It's always advertised between 11 and 13 days and four and five days before the meeting, twice. And you can always go on the website and find the... the, the, the the time and day of every planning and zoning meeting, so you can. Is there a date yet? No. no. Okay. okay. So they will. They, I assume you're you're both within 500 feet. I assume that. All of us. Okay. Are. Then okay. you should all be. Then you all be, be notified. notified. Yep. That'll be your time to speak. Yep. Okay. Yep. This really Absolutely. is only relative to the wetlands, yep. and the wetland implication. And as as Steve said before, it's only about this much. And we really don't have jurisdiction on the right. building or construction right. end of it. Sorry. But but your concerns are valid. And that's why I'm glad you, know, you if you can get, get to that meeting, you can express or ask questions or you know you're certainly welcome to do that under that form. That would be the time to talk about the road and the way it's and the impact and, and yeah. So then really, it's really not a formal, is it a formal application? Do we need to have a motion to I think you just um, make, a, make a determination that it's a use as of right because gotcha. it's a public watershed gotcha. Gotcha. application. So we just, yeah, I, I was actually confused as to why you were coming before us to begin with. But now that you pointed out that little strip of wetlands, thank you very much for giving us consideration. Well, we appreciate, you know, we just like to know when projects happen like this, because the public will ask us, and you know, we just like to be. It's, we appreciate you coming here and spending the time and letting us know what you're doing. And you know, that way, it's, it's just a, it's better for everyone. You know, so it, it is the regional intent. Um, whatever we're building, any projects of such, whether as long as we're within close proximity, we're always going to come before. Um, whether it be right. like this we we appreciate that. Um, we, we pride ourselves in uh, information. Last question that comes to my mind. Actually, what what is the purpose of these tanks? What what do they do? Is it for pressure? So these tanks is what provides fire service to whether it be schools, um, hospitals if they're in the area, homes, businesses. It also provides or maintains pressure to all the houses within that service area. Pressure. Yeah. Okay. And it provides water. <coughs> <laughs> but but the those tanks how are they how are they filled they're filled from the reservoir correct no no so from the reservoir goes to the treatment plant which is your neighbor yeah right. and from the treatment plant it gets pumped by your pump station to the tanks and the tanks are storage tanks so just in case there's an issue at the treatment plant there's still water in the system that maintains the system pressure gotcha are you well or are you well Right. So you have no say in this. Two, two yeah. bottles. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't even do that. So would uh, someone like to make a, a motion saying that we deem it a right of um, 
permitted use. <coughs> Excuse me, right, permitted use, and then some like to just make that uh, statement. I want to say motion, but it really is, and then we can all second it, and, and we can prove it. Right? That's is that, is that correct, Dave? Or someone should just yeah, state, just like we're making fine. similar. We're making a motion. We just need to have someone yeah. state that. Okay. Okay. All right, I, I, I move that uh, the RWA um, is allowed to do this <laughs> permitted. <laughs> they are uh, permitted use of right to the RWA can go through with this project. Okay, we have a second. Yeah, second. All right, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Good luck, guys. Thank you. All right, so. Dave, how, how does the zoning board determine, do they have to make a determination that uh, the activity, it's a significant activity? Uh, I mean, how, how, how does the public get involved with that? The, any any um, develop, I think the um, water tower would be a special permit to you. And that generally kicks in a public hearing. E e even though it's existing. I mean, it's they're, they're, well, okay, they're, they're adding a new one to the right. site. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I think water tower. So I would yeah, like to attend this meeting myself. You know, our, our zoning regulations are so sort of old that they allow for, you know, water tanks and water this. And, you know, you have to sort of move it into the 21st century to figure out what category you're actually talking about. Um, you're proposing maybe some revisions in our regulations for the planning and zoning? Okay, just so, not our not jurisdiction, but I'm just, I get that. I, so I, I'm catching your, uh, your drift there. <laughs> okay, then I guess the next thing we can do is move on to item six, <clears throat> excuse me, which is the wetland enforcement officer's report. I don't have anything new other than Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Well, then, unless anyone other members have any things that they would like to discuss, we can move on to adjournment. Have any of our favorite people come in to talk with you? Guess not. Can I just ask one quick question? Yes. Uh, we're at 16 also, but we're off that driveway. Gotcha. And uh, we, we do agree to, as far as doing a walkthrough with Mr. Bozzuto for his property. And I know it's a different situation. Would you consider doing a walkthrough of the area that they are anticipating doing the rebuild on? Uh, we understand it's not going to be until spring of 26. Oh, so there's plenty of time, but I would love to have you walk through the area so you can actually physically conceptualize the well, area. Te technically, it, no, and if it, unless it's a wetland issue, though, it, this sounds more like a planning and zoning issue. Would you say, David? I mean, really? And that's that's I, typically the kind of thing that you should talk to me about. Okay. Yeah. As as the planner, and I'd be more than happy to go out and walk with you and right. okay. look yeah. at it and be Super. proactive and helpful and great. Because yeah. the wetland comes up to our property, and we have we've already contacted the town about washout and everything. Oh, I, I I know there are issues over there. Yeah, we're all aware of that. Oh, the water company is aware of that, and we want to fix it. And this may so, be an opportunity to improve the site, you know. And your 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 valid your points are valid because you live there, you see it. You know, it's not like yeah. you're making this up. What you see is better. so. This may be a good opportunity, and again, you know, again, because to maybe address those so issues. We've, we've seen preliminary plans over the last six months that we we've, we've put these guys a bunch of times because. We know the issue. Okay. We, we've already met with Mr. Benny and Mr. Salatano yes. last March, April time frame. Correct. They were very nice. We we met with them because of this. We had a big storm back then, huge runoff. Right. And, um, you know, so already there's already some some issues with that whole mountain site. Yeah, no, we're, we're quite aware of that. Okay. Thank you. And, and we're, this should help. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, no, no. You, you have some valid questions. You just want to make sure you and, and try to get to that planning and zoning meeting because that's probably your first time you really can ask some questions and get some answers, you know. Great. So. But feel free to call me. Yeah. Dave Perkins.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good evening. Um, so again, um, nothing on the wetland enforcement officer's report. Again, anything else um, anyone wants to talk to Dave about or anything before we adjourn? Do you expect next meeting to give us a full report on that, though? <laughs> you know, so we, we, you know, you, figure you, you got the book, so you, you shouldn't. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to return the book right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. um, other than that, uh, move to adjourn. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Yep. Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. <laughs>